Hi, my name's Charlie and I'm 16. This means I can't vote and this is frustrating because this election affects me and my family and I don't get any say as to how it pans out. That's why I wanted to help make this film, to make my voice count where my vote can't. In 2003, my dad was involved in a motorcycle accident that left him paraplegic. The NHS saved his life, and that's why I'm passionate about defending it. If the paramedic had taken any longer, he wouldn't have made it. The last government closed ambulance stations and hospitals. Someone's going to have to pay for that with their life. Someone like me will grow up without a dad. Please think about that when you vote. And my name is Willow. When Willow was six months old, she had heart failure and nearly died. She was in hospital for three months. My tubes were around the wrong way and I had a big operation. Without the NHS, my sister wouldn't be here, which I really can't imagine. The NHS looked after Willow and now we have to fight for it. That's why we have been on tons of marches. I met Michael Sheen and learned about Nye Pleasant. He was a brilliant man. He started the National Health Service. He wanted people to be looked after, whether they were rich or poor. I wanted to still be like that when I grow up. My name is Eva and I'm 10. I was born with problems with my ears and that means I've had to see many doctors and nurses. Last year I had the biggest operation of my life to take out a little infected bone from my ear. I I have Mr. Dunn, my very own nurse, and they really look after me. I'm still not completely better, and I will need another operation. But Mr. Dunn says he's going to do it for me. I really trust him, and I never feel scared. My mum says she wants to kiss him, but that would be so embarrassing. Mr. Dunn is so, is, is so good. He could work wherever he wanted, but he chose to work in the NHS in my local hospital. He's, he's, it's not easy, he's busy with so many patients and he always takes his time and never rushes, which makes me feel so important. So that's why I feel so strongly that the NHS should exist in the future and everyone has a chance to see such incredible surgeons like I did. You never know when your life or the life of someone you love will depend on the NHS. But for those of us who've known that moment, who've known those weeks or years, we know how important it is. It doesn't matter who you are. If you need it, it's there for you. But now the NHS is under threat. It's under threat from people who want to put profits above people. Even if they won't tell you that, it's time for us to do the saving.